Indian Scout 60. Review Entry Level Bike in Indian's Range. The Indian Scout 60 is a great looking, well built, quality bike that is a more affordable entry to an authentic cruiser made by one of the world's oldest motorcycle firms. The smoothness of the engine and the lightness to the ride is very enjoyable. The 60 part of the name denotes the smaller 999 cubic centimeters engine with less power and cost than the full size Scout. Indian also gave the Scout Bobber a 60 version in 2019. Ride Quality and Brakes Sitting on the bike for the first time gives an immediate impression of lightness and it feels friendly and approachable. This is no scary beast for sure. The feeling of lightness and agility is helped by the low 642mm seat height which allows most people the option of putting both feet flat on the ground for maximum control when stopped. Riding the Indian Scout 60 proves as easy as the company hoped it would. It's not perfect for sure. The suspension is not going to keep press-on riders happy for long as it seems underdamped and reacts to sharp-edged mid-corner bumps which knock the bike offline. It's not scary, just something you have to be aware of. The standard tires are Indian branded but made by Kenda and while they are okay, they aren't as good as some more mainstream manufacturer cruiser rubber. Engine the bike is heavily based on the existing 1,133 cubic centimeters Indian Scout model but has a new 999 cubic centimeters engine, large amounts of the chrome parts changed for black and has been aimed at a younger, more urban customer who wants something a bit less flashy and classic looking. The new motor is smooth, free revving and feels beautifully connected to the throttle. It's just nice to ride as it's so simple. The engine capacity change has come from narrowing the board to give the 999 cubic centimeters overall engine size with a corresponding drop in power to 78 brake horsepower and peak torque of 65.6 foot-pounds. The power may be down on the larger Scout model but it remains class-leading according to Indian. Reliability and build quality Opinions have been divided by some elements of the finish on the Scout 60. I like the more technical appearance of some of the engine parts, but others thought they looked a little cheaper than they should. The most obvious changes to the bike over the most expensive in terms of the appearance are the blacked out engine parts, fork bottoms, a modified headlight, clocks around, crackle finish black frame and black wheels. The overall impression works well and the quality if the paint, the fit and finish and the style all look much more expensive than the £8,999 asking price might suggest value versus rivals this is a classy bike for the money which while not perfect is going to be able to give a great deal of pleasure and a real feeling of quality for a very reasonable price as a sub dash pound 10k cruiser when it was launched the indian scout 60's closest rivals were the yamaha 15950 racer and the harley davidson 48 neither of which are still available to buy new the yamaha 15950 racer is the cheapest and arguably the boldest it's not a bad bike, far from it, but the motor is lazy. The Harley 48 looks amazing, feels authentic and, despite its stretched and unnatural riding position, scores highly. I'm not sure I could live with a tiny 7.9-liter fuel tank, though, 